Welcome back everyone. A number of Laker players have taken a leap forward this season, and I think we can all agree that Austin Reeves needs to be put in that category. He played pretty well as a rookie, but many question if he could be effective in a bigger role, and with him already being 24, there were also those who doubted his ceiling being much higher. Now I know we're only 15 games in, but he appears to be proving everyone wrong who thought that about him, and the way he's been doing it has been quite noteworthy. However, can he really keep this up, or are we simply looking at a temporary hot streak here? We will talk about exactly that in today's video. Before we do that though, if you are looking for more non-Lakers related NBA content from me, then I recommend you check out my second channel, JSM Plus. I talk about the entire NBA over there, so if that sounds like the type of content you might enjoy, then be sure to head over there and subscribe. Without further ado though, let's get back to today's topic, and to begin, we need to talk about the offensive leap that Reeves has taken. No matter what area you want to look at, he has shown noticeable improvement. Some people have credited that to a larger role, but there is quite obviously more to it than simply that. And it's not only a group of fans who believe that either, as his teammates do as well, with Anthony Davis even putting a spotlight on him during his post-game interview last night. AD, uh, Austin had a season high 21 tonight. And he's had four games in a row in, in double figures. What have you seen offensively from him? Like, what, what's kind of been working for him? What, what's been different? Um, he's been doing it all, all three levels. Uh, you know, he's in the paint. You know, with a shot fakes, getting to the line, uh, shooting a three ball, um, handing the ball off pick and rolls, making the right read. So he's been playing, um, you know, unbelievable for us, uh, making all, all the right plays and. Uh, um, you know, he, his confidence is very high right now, so. With Anthony Davis being one of the few guys in their team who has played with Austin during both his rookie and second year in the league, he can attest to the growth that is currently happening with him. He proved to be a capable defender and hustle guy for them, but now he is finally getting an opportunity to grow on offense, and boy is he ever taking advantage of it. If you take a look at his stats, the number one thing that would likely stand out to you would be his shooting efficiency. He is currently shooting over 51% from the field, over 40% from 3, and then over 90% from the free throw line. Or in other words, he is currently on pace for a 50-40-90 season, which to my knowledge, has never been done by a Lakers player before. Now I'm not sure he'll be able to accomplish that, but it's very telling about how well he's been shooting the ball, and in the current role that he's in, Austin Reeves is in a perfect position to be efficient. He has definitely been asked to take on a larger role with LeBron out, but it's not like he is drawing double teams or even constant attention on the court either. And up until this point, he has been making opposing teams pay for that too. If they give him a lane to the rim, then he is very likely either going to score on you or create a wide open shot for a teammate. If we take a look at his tracking data, he is currently driving to the rim about 5 times per game, scoring on 60% of his drive attempts, and then recording an assist over 7% of the time too. And when you combine that with him shooting 60% from the field on drive attempts, that kind of efficiency is incredible. I mean, not even Lonnie Walker is converting more of his drive attempts compared to Reeves. And the way he's been doing it is much different compared to anyone else on their team. Rather than exploding to the rim like Westbrook or Walker, Reeves takes a much more methodical approach. He simply doesn't have the athletic ability that they do, and in order to make up for that, he puts defenders in a very vulnerable position. He will tend to drive by them, but rather than going all the way to the rim, he will stop around the free throw line and keep the defender on his hip. And there is no worse place for a defender to be, because at that point, they really can't do anything. They can't reach around without being called for a foul, they cannot reposition themselves without fouling either, and they're on the opposite side of the rim compared to Reeves. 9 times out of 10, that will collapse the entire defense, which will directly lead to an open 3 point shot, a lob to the rim, or a wide open layup for Reeves if they don't cover him. And him being able to do that is very telling of his ability on offense. That is a skill that will often take years for a player to develop, and yet, he is already able to do it in year number 2. The efficiency around the rim is very noteworthy, but his passing might be even more notable than even that. It might not stand out through his current assist average, but his ball movement has been overall great, 
it won't always lead to an assist, though it's very rare to see him make a bad read. And the more players you have like that within your rotation, the better. His on-ball IQ is very high, but that does not take away from how good he is off the ball too. We've finally been getting to watch him be an on-ball playmaker for them, but let's not overlook how good he's been as an off-ball cutter, a catch-and-shoot player, and how good he is running the court too. Off-ball movement is key for a good offense, and that is yet another thing that Reeves does well. He proved to be a great backdoor cutter for them last season, but his three-point shooting was a bit sporadic, and many thought it would take years for him to develop that. But through 15 total games, that has been anything but the case. Like I referred to before, he is currently shooting over 40% from three. The truly impressive part about that though is how well he's been catch and shooting, which has been a big part in improving their team three-point shooting percentage. When taking a look at his catch and shoot tracking data, he is currently shooting over 43% from the field, over 42% from three, and has an effective field goal percentage of over 64%. Out of everyone in their main rotation that has played in 10 or more games, that is by far the best, and it's helped him to be even more effective off the ball than before. If he is able to keep that up, then there is no reason for him not to play over 30 minutes per game. He's been great at driving to the rim, creating plays for teammates, and even being a great catch and shoot player for them now as well. That is pretty much the ideal combination for a role player on offense, which again, we were hoping to get from him eventually, but Reeves has been taking that leap even quicker than we hoped. And the best part about that is with him contributing on defense too. He might not be a lockdown defender, but he is definitely able to hold his own. And if we take a look at defensive Raptor rating, he is currently their third most impactful defender, and one of only two players on their entire team with both a positive offensive and defensive rating. Now, that is obviously not the perfect way to evaluate a player, but it does show his value on both ends of the court, which could very well lead to him being given the highly sought after 3 and D label. In fact, he might even be capable of more than that. Again, we need to see him do it for a bit longer before going that far, but I love what we've been seeing from Austin Reeves. To wrap everything up here though, Austin Reeves has been providing incredible value for the Lakers. Whether it be as a playmaker, a shooter, or as a defender, he has been great for them all around. And I don't think it's a hot take to say that he's been a big part of them winning games while being without LeBron, and he has taken full advantage of the increased role that he's been given during that time. With all of that being said though, what do you guys think? How impressed have you been by Austin Reeves? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video, and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.